Well, folks, on one side, you have Jamie Dimon from JP Morgan calling Bitcoin a hyped up fraud. And on the other side, you have Kathy Wood from ARK Invest reiterating her $1 million price target for Bitcoin by 2027. So which one of these highly vocal voices on the media is correct? And why is Bitcoin's insane rally to over $30,000 over the past week sparking more controversy around why the next bear market could be closer than many people think? Well, in this video, I'm going to address exactly that. But as usual, guys, before we get into it, make sure to drop me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. So to start things off, I think it's no surprise to say that somebody like JP Morgan CEO should not be trusted around his takes on blockchain technology. He believes Bitcoin is a hyped up fraud, but he also believes that blockchain is a deployable technology. And somebody like this who is persuaded by market pricing for his opinion, it goes to show you they should not be trusted for any one of their words. Kathy Wood, on the other hand, even though I'm not the biggest fan of her, has been much more consistent about her take on Bitcoin. The recent rally is most likely driven by Bitcoin's future outlook on where inflation will most likely head. And to be honest, this concept is pretty easy to understand. As the yield curve inverts more steeply and we see inflationary pressure start to ease, assets like gold, silver, and even Bitcoin will start to outperform other forms of stocks and even bonds. And that is exactly what we're seeing play out right now. What Bitcoin is trying to price in right now is the end of the Fed rate hike cycle. Markets are always forward looking and crypto prices are trying to predict when the Fed will pivot, which will result in more stimulus in the economy and an appetite for risk assets. In 2021, Bitcoin went up and that was obviously to predict the inflation we now experience in 2022 and in 2023. And just like we saw happen in 2015 and 2019, it seems like the Bitcoin capitulation phase is indeed in the rare view mirror. As you can see, according to Glassnode, the net unrealized profit loss statements for the average Bitcoin holder on the network is currently in the positive after having been in the negative since December 2022. This means that people that bought Bitcoin in their most recent bull and bear market cycle are now actually up on their position, which goes to show the strength of not only the network, but also those who believe in the future of decentralized finance. It's pretty clear to me that reminiscence of the 2020 and 2021 bull market are entering the Bitcoin price action. But as I've seen over social media over the past couple of days, there still seems to be a lingering concern around Bitcoin's recent rally, all because of the idea that trading volumes are still not increasing nearly as much. Because as you can see, Bitcoin's spot to derivatives trading volume ratio slid to its lowest level in almost 11 months at the end of March 2023. And although this looks extremely concerning on the surface, hinting to this rally in Bitcoin being a fake out, I beg to differ. And why is that? Well, because as you can see, the amount of new addresses that are adding onto the Bitcoin network is actually hitting a near term high. We have not actually seen these kinds of new addresses hit the Bitcoin network since the peak of the 2018 and the 2021 bull market cycles. Not only are addresses going up, but the new 365 day moving average in red is also now pointing to the upside. This is the metric you actually want to pay attention to because this is an indicator of the innovation and the trust that people are putting on Bitcoin's intrinsic value for not only exchanges, but also potentially staking and using as an inflationary hedge. 
And yeah, as scary as this volume chart looks like, you can see that the levels were only returning to the average that we saw happen throughout 2021 and 2022. The pink line only skyrocketed at the end of last year because of the capitulation we were experiencing in Bitcoin prices, especially with FTX. Futures traders were pricing in the potential collapse of Celsius, Voyager Digital, and now FTX with the insane leverage we were seeing in the market at that time as interest rates were being raised at a record pace. And I hate to say it, with the amount of insane pessimism I saw in the market at that time, not only for altcoins, Bitcoin, Ethereum, but also for something like Coinbase, there was no other opportunity better to invest for me personally. And so far, that thesis has worked out perfectly. And I don't think this is the end. Because as you can see, according to coin metrics, we are now entering the inflection point of the bear market, at which point it converts to a bull market. For the past four cycles in Bitcoin's history, we have seen an inflection around the 300 to 600 day mark of the drawdown. And as you can clearly see for the lines in blue, yellow and red, the returns thereafter have been immense, ranging from 100% to over 500%. And as you can see, the line in black is where we are today. And we are following the same trajectory that we have for the past 10 years. And like I've said countless times in investing and in crypto, prices do not repeat themselves from history, but they do tend to rhyme with history. And it's pretty obvious to me that the patterns are very, very similar. Whether it be Ethereum Shanghai upgrade, which unlocks on 15% of staked Ethereum on the blockchain or Coinbase's insane innovation around integrating the Lightning Network onto its own platform. The crypto industry is not ending anytime soon. As usual guys, nothing on this channel is financial advice, so let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below and how you are either taking advantage or disadvantage of this current Bitcoin bull market. As usual guys, thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.